Well, guys, yeah, yeah. I got a freaking yeah, bandit. <laughs> so awesome. What is up my shred heads welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to be doing the first ride review and speed test on the spark cycle work bandits i'm super excited to have this bike on the channel it's not an e-bike it's actually considered an e-moped but before we get started on this whole review and speed test and fun journey if you guys want to support the channel check out all those links down below check out that link for the spark cycle works bandit if you're interested in spark cycle works or any bike over there make sure you check out that link down below use code shreddy get hundred dollars off if the spark cycle works bandit is not for you check out all those other links down below there might be a bike you like before we get started on the ride and speed test we're going to do a little overview of the spark cycle works bandit just so you guys know this is the stock bandit except for the shocks for those of you that saw that live video they installed the shocks on there i'll put the link down below on how they did it it was super quick and easy but this is the gen 1 bandit i'm going to be updating this bike as the bandit gets updated i'm going to be doing it with you guys on mystery mod mondays so definitely definitely be on the lookout for mystery mod mondays so i want to tell you guys a little bit about the spark cycle works team they're actually located in branford connecticut they're a small team that started in 2018 and they're actually one of the first teams to ever create the very first e-moped that can actually register and ride around on the streets. And along with the Spark Cycle Works Bandit, they actually have a good collection of very good entry priced e-bikes. And also for such a small team, they have such great customer service. I've actually visited them a few times and I've seen it all firsthand. I'm hoping that you guys can get to meet them too. All right guys, now let's get started on the overview of the Spark Bandit from Spark Cycle Works. So the bike weighs a total of 85 pounds. It has a maximum payload of 300 pounds the length of the bike is 70 inches long it definitely has a long length if you guys do end up carrying up and down stairs just be careful with this sprocket it's super big make sure you lift it up over the stair if you can the motor on the spark cycle works bandit is a two horsepower 1492 watt motor with a peak of 2423 watts and what i really love about the spark cycle works bandit hub motor is the fact that it has nylon gears sandwiched with metal gears that way it can handle more power and it won't strip any of the gears the bike is powered by a cadence sensor meaning it's not a torque sensor so with a cadence sensor once you start pedaling it starts going at full throttle to the certain speed that you can get to like mode one will be 20 miles an hour right here is your little control for the display so you have three to five levels of pedal assist you can actually go into the display and change that from there the banded e-moped is also equipped with a thumb throttle you can actually change it to a twist throttle which is pretty cool i might be getting a twist throttle for mystery mod monday so let me know down in the comments if you want to see that the stock battery is a 48 volt 24 and a half amp hour battery with 1176 watt hours and there's a 40 amp bms on this battery the estimated range for the spark cycle works bandit is at 20 miles an hour you're going to be going 40 to 60 miles at 28 miles an hour you're going to be going between 25 and 35 miles at 35 miles an hour you're going to be going between 20 to 25 miles and at 100 percent throttle only you're going to be seeing about 18 to 20 miles so we're going to be doing range tests on this bad boy with this 24 and a half amp hour battery the bandit is equipped with a 60 tooth front sprocket look at this thing guys you can definitely pedal at higher speeds unlike any other bike that i have we also have a Shimano seven speed derailleur here. And right here you have a thumb and index finger shifter so you can go through the gears. We also have Tetro hydraulic disc brakes with a super huge 203 millimeter disc rotor. This thing is super beefy. Definitely has really good stopping power. I might be upgrading the Magura brakes sometime in the future because I actually got a chance to try them on the other Bandit they have there. And oh my goodness, the stopping power on those brakes are amazing. The Bandit e-moped is equipped with 20 by four tires with a 20 inch rim. This model came with Kenda tires, 
But if you do want something else, definitely let them guys know you can get treaded tires on this bad boy too. And my goodness, this thing is a lot of fun to ride on treaded tires through the woods, even though it's not made for the woods. And the Bandit E-Moped is also equipped with rear shocks. So they're dual rear shocks. These are not the stock shocks that it comes with. The stock shocks come looking like this, a little bit different. And it's also equipped with a front inverted forks. So you have a nice little spring on the front. Great suspension on this thing. And also that front suspension fork is upgradable if you want something a little bit better feel free to do it. And the stock headlight is a 2600 lumen dual bulb. And the cool thing about the headlights, you're actually able to change them out too. So if you want like a cool single motorcycle, just like one bulb headlight, you can do that if you want. 12 volt system under here. I don't think the Gen 1 Bandit has that, but we're gonna be upgrading and showing you guys how to do that yourselves. So this is the Gen 1 Bandit rear brake light. The new ones are gonna be just a brake light by itself without the turning signals. And the turning signals are gonna be installed right here on the sides, just like the front ones, little flimsy ones, gonna be great. And the reason they're changing out this brake light to a different one is because this thing is not bright enough to see in the daytime or even at nighttime. So they're definitely listening to us. If you guys have any suggestions on this e-bike, feel free to comment down below. And it's also equipped with this cool little horn. <laughs> Oh. And right here, we have this really cool moped seat. And I'm pretty sure Spark Cycle Works is going to be carrying different style seats here in the future. I'm super excited to see that, guys. It's also equipped with front and rear fenders. On the newer fenders, they're not going to be made out of metal. I think they're going to be made out of some sort of plastic. So it's not going to be able to show scratches as easily as the metal. So the Bandit e-moped is equipped with these super awesome big motorcycle mirrors, which really help out big time when you're riding on the side of the road. I can't stress enough to you guys, if you guys are riding e-bikes on the side of the road, on the road, please get mirrors. It really, really helps out, guys. And also the Bandit e-moped is equipped with rear pegs. Check this out. Isn't that awesome? And last but not least, the Bandit e-moped is equipped with this awesome three and a half inch digital color display. All right, guys, I'm ready to shred on this thing. Let's get this ride started. So we're gonna start this little test at a full charge, 54.6 volts. Before we even get started on a speed test, I just wanna let you guys know that this bike is powered off right now and I'm pedaling it in gear one and it's actually not that bad at all. So if you do have a battery death while you're riding, there's nothing to worry about. But the one thing I'll always suggest is bring your charger with you and always check your nuts. If you guys ever see nails, pick it up. So let's get started. We're gonna go full throttle, just full speed to see what our top speed is with a 48 volt battery. And just so you guys know that this bike does come with uh, different kits that you can upgrade from the get-go, like the Nomad kit, the Scorpio kit, but this is gonna be your stock e-bike and if you do go with the 52 volt battery on top and the battery blender you're going to get a little more speed out of it i'm thinking you'll hit around 40 miles an hour but let's see what we can hit on this bike right now with the 48 volt with the full charge of 54.6 volts all right guys here we go full throttle Thirty two, thirty three. we're going slightly downhill here guys oh 36 let's go it says 39 on display, 37 on the GPS. So it's about two miles an hour off. All right, now we're going on a slight uphill. Sticking to 35.2 or 35.3. Let's see what happens when we get on a flat. I'm actually doing a speed limit on this road right now, guys. All right, here's a nice little flat section. 36.8. Now I'm staying at about 35, going uphill again. Thirty-four point six, thirty-five 35 right now. All right, now we're in a flat. 35.9 is the highest I saw on this flat. Speed limit 25, let's slow it down. All right guys, so definitely I wanna say it's safe to say that with a 48 volt, 24 and a half amp hour battery, you're gonna be hitting a top speed of 35 miles an hour on the stock banded e-moped. That's freaking awesome. And then when you slap that 52 volt battery, I feel like you're gonna be hitting around 40 miles an hour plus. Uh, let's go through the pedal assist and see what different speeds we're gonna reach. Let me get to gear seven all the way up. So pedal assist one, woo, that's super torquey. <laughs> I'm just gonna ghost pedal and see what we get to. Pedal assist one is about 19 miles an hour. All right, let's go to pedal assist two. 
woo! It, it's super torquey when you hit the pedal assist because of the cadence sensor, it just goes off like full throttle. So I think this is a high power cadence sensor. Other bikes have low power cadence sensor where it kind of takes off a little bit slower. All right, so let's see what the top speed. Mode two. Ghost pedaling. About 22.7. Let's go mode three. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mode three is about 28 miles an hour. All right, let's blast into mode four. And I'm actually pedaling and I feel a little bit of resistance. All right, now I'm gonna ghost pedal mode four. 32. I saw about 32 miles an hour. Now we're going uphill. Once we flatten out, we're gonna hit mode five. All right, mode five, here we are. <laughs> 35.4 I saw, 35, let's go. Let's go, uphill 35, let's freaking go. All right, that's awesome guys. Let's see if I, I got a little resistance but he got to pedal really hard. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that freaking GA! Man, this bandit moped is fun. All right, guys, just so you know, this is not an off road vehicle, so let's go off road. <laughs> Woo! Oh, man. <laughs> hey, Matt, I want to let you know that suspension you put on there is awesome. <laughs> yes, I love the new piggyback suspension. Yee! Let me know down in the comments what you guys think about the bandit. <laughs> you know I gotta ride it through the grass. You're not supposed to do this. But I just wanna let you guys know that it does, it does it. And it does it in spectacular fashion. <laughs> yes. Oh my God, that's so much fun. I feel like I'm gonna get in trouble one day doing that. There's one thing about the throttle that, that kinda makes it a little bit hard for new people is it's a little bit touchy where it's like, you can push it and then right there it kind of gets a little torquey. They're going to be able to program that so they can make it a little more like smooth for people. Some people actually love the way this throttle feels. I just feel like for beginners they need something a little easier to like ease into. All right, so this is the testing hill that we always test our, our bikes on. Now that we're 52.4 volts, we're not fully, fully charged, but let's see if we can get up this hill from a totally stop, like dead stop. All right, ready? Go. Oh, come on, you can do it, dude. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Oh my God, dude. It's actually pulling me up. That's awesome. Okay, well, <laughs> we made it. That's awesome. All right, let's see how easy it is now if we do it with a little bit of a lead start. I gotta kind of go up and then a little bit sideways because there's a little line there. Oh yeah, that's too easy. <laughs> that's awesome, guys. So this thing definitely has some good climbing power and torque. Let's freaking go! And guys, another cool thing about the Spark Bandit e-moped is right down here is where your controller and all your wires are. But on the new gen, you're gonna have little thumb screws. And inside there, they're gonna put this little cool toolkit for your Spark Bandit e-moped. It comes with some Allen keys, a little wrench, and a pump. How awesome is that? And if you do have anything to repair some tubes, slap them right in there. So right now, guys, I am riding in Pedal Assist 1. The Bandit is a really, really solid feeling frame. It literally feels like it's like a moped or a motorcycle. It's really awesome. It's definitely super comfortable to pedal. If you want to get a nice extension on your legs, you can actually like sit back a little bit because the seat is super long. The way I use the throttle is if I find like a good speed, I lock it in by pressing to the right a little bit. Because if I play, if I do it like this, like I'll hit bumps and it'll be kind of jumpy. So if you lock it in with your thumb, it won't jump around as much. So I do love the fact that you can register the Bandit e-moped, but if you don't register and keep it 20 and under, you'll be able to ride it on the trails. So that's what I like about this bike. It's awesome. It's kind of like you could pick your poison, you know? <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be getting this thing registered. I just wanna show you guys what the process of getting the Bandit e-moped registered in Delaware would be. It's not an off-road vehicle, but Shreddy loves riding through the grass. Don't do this at home. Don't do this with the e-bandit moped. You can't do it. Only Shreddy loves riding through the grass. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! 
Warning, do not try this at home. The Spark Bandit e-moped was strictly made for legal on-road use as a moped. You can still jump it. Woo! <laughs> all right guys we have come to the end of the video if you guys enjoyed that video please drop a like so all in all i had a blast today riding the bandit this thing is awesome it is packed with power i definitely have a lot of fun riding it on the grass even though this is made for on-road use only and just another reminder don't forget about mystery mod mondays it's not going to be only for the bandit it's going to be for all the bikes i'm going to have the bike companies send out accessories or whoever. If you're interested in sending accessories to Mystery Mod Mondays, shoot me a message on Instagram and I'll get back to you. I'd love to check out what kind of accessories you got for the bikes I have. So as we upgrade the Gen 1 Bandit to the next gen and the next gen, this is gonna be a journey with you guys. I'm definitely loving the speed, the suspension, the power this thing has, great acceleration on the Bandit. I cannot wait to be upgrading it with you guys on Mystery Mod Mondays. If you guys do wanna support the channel, please check out all those links down below. Check out the link for the spark bandit use coach ready get a hundred dollars off if the spark bandit's not for you check out all those other links down below there might be a bike you like so if you enjoyed the content please consider subscribing hitting that like button and ringing that notification <laughs> to be notified when i'm making videos and are you guys ready for the moment of silence for the subscribe button in three two one hit subscribe heads down all right i'll see you in the next bandit ride Jump it!